I can share with you that in my 20 years of following the silver market closely, I've never experienced so many people talking about 90% silver. I'm hearing more and more people say, get as much of it as you can while you still can. Do you love junk silver? Do you hate junk silver? There seems to be a huge debate within the silver community right now surrounding this. Is that the sound of a silver shortage or just the sound of stress in the 90% junk silver constitutional silver market? Because we have some people saying, get as much of it as you can before it's all gone. And other people that dispel and say there's plenty of junk silver out there and available on the market. We know one thing for sure. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Leave a comment in the comment section of this video. But I want to share with you five things that we know for sure about junk silver. And that might help you make up your mind for yourself. We definitely know that they're not making any more junk silver. This includes 1964 and earlier things like dimes, quarters, half dollars, silver dollars. What's been made has been made. They won't be reminting 1963 quarters or anything like that. So we know that there's a limited supply of junk silver on the market. Isn't it crazy to think that at one point, the United States actually backed their money with silver. We'll leave that for a different discussion. Is junk silver a bellwether for what's going on in the silver market as a whole? What I mean by that is if we look back at recent history, the banking crisis that we had just about a year and a half ago, the premiums on junk silver went through the roof. That only meant one thing, that the demand for junk silver had far outweighed the supply. Now, if we are starting to see stress in the junk silver market, is that a sign of things to come for the silver market in general, that we could be at the very beginning phases of a big wave of demand for silver? I can share with you that in my 20 years of following the silver market closely, I've never experienced so many people talking about 90% silver. I'm hearing more and more people say, get as much of it as you can while you still can. People look at it from a couple different perspectives. Number one, you are getting actual silver, that weight of silver. Number two, you are getting coins that at some point could have some type of numismatic value, some type of collector value. And there's a growing number of people that think that if the dollar were to get into a big, big trouble zone and that we're using silver to barter, that there's nothing better in the United States to use for barter purposes than constitutional or junk silver. And while junk silver may have a 90% silver content, I think it's safe to say that at least 90% of Americans don't even realize this. And if we do get into some difficult times, as that wave of people could move into the silver market, they might feel real comfortable with old U.S. coins, which could create a massive wave of demand for constitutional silver. Because don't forget, they're not making any more of it. It's darn near impossible for the U.S. Met to start minting 1953 U.S. silver quarters. We know that's just not going to happen. There's a limited supply out there in the overall silver market, right? Let's talk about that. Junk silver is a part of that as well. So as we move into uh, this new era for silver, where overall demand is far outstripping the supply that could leave even more room for the value of constitutional junk 90% silver to run even further. I want to hear what you have to say. If you had a choice between buying, let's say, a 10-ounce silver bar or getting the equivalent of silver 
from quarters, dimes, half dollars, which would you choose? I think I'd probably go for the junk silver at this point, but you may feel differently. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you want to get your hands on some silver right now, please support channel sponsor Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. They've got a great selection of silver and gold and platinum group metals for that matter. They help make this video and Ron's basement possible. So please help support our sponsors. Also, First Mining Gold and Fortuna Mining. There's links to all of these companies in the description of this video. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and thumbs up are always much appreciated. Take care, and I'll see you soon.